everyone and welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel thank you for your love for your support if you are new to the channel you're welcome if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for i would appreciate some of you you have been following me and you still have not clicked on the subscribe button have a please subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate that seriously subscribe to my youtube channel and then hit on the notification bell on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video so that's just like basically the essence of hitting on that bell and then you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram and threads all at stylish niger and then if you want to register for my online classes which i normally run every month my classes are so really really detailed so you can ask some of the people that have registered they keep coming back to register for all of the other classes so you can actually um just send me a message on whatsapp okay so guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this trendy top so you can see the picture from the thumbnail and this top do actually does not have zip at the back it has buttons so that's what we're going to learn how to cut and sew a trendy um, top with bell sleeve and back buttons so guys so let's get started i made it so simple and detailed for you even as a beginner you will be able to pull this through so guys so let's just get started straight into the tutorial for today okay guys so this is the fabric that i'm going to be making use of so you can see it is a two yards of fabric and then this is my lining i have two yards also so the lining is a little bit strong because the fabric is not that strong. So I'm making use of my basic bodice pattern. In case you don't know how to draft a basic bodice pattern, I have a video of it, about two videos on my channel already. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to cut it on my lining first. So I'm just going to check my basic bodice to make sure that my measurement, the measurement that I want, because I'm making it like a crop top, I don't want it to be too long. So you can see this is 18 inches, which is okay. And then just two inches allowance. The length of the dress is gonna be 18 inches and then I have my allowance. So it's just perfect. And then on the side of my basic bodies, I reduced the measurements, that's the wideness. So you can just really adapt or adjust your basic bodies to your measurement. So I'll cut this off right now. So we're going to cut out the front first. Then we'll cut out the back. So the back, that's, that's the one that is going to have. Since I'm not adding a zipper, it's going to. I'm going to add an extra of two inches to it because of the back buttons that we're going to be adding. Okay. Okay. So I've cut out the back. I've cut out the front rather. So we're going to cut out the back now. So I'm just going to take this like this, and then I'm going to place it here. So I want about two inches for my buttons because I don't want it to be opening. So that is why I just want it to lap nicely. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to check to make sure that my two inches runs across. Okay, so the easiest thing for me to do this, I'm just going to use my, my ruler like this to mark it and then roll it out. Okay, so you can see it so i have the lines here so i'm going to take the front piece i'll place it like this here and then i'm going to cut cut it out now okay so i'm going to notch my button allowance point. So after cutting, I'm going to transfer this now to my fabric piece. Okay, guys, so you can see I finished cutting all of my pieces. So here's what I did. I want my dress to have a little bit of structure. So I'm using a paper gum and a hair stick. So on the, my lining, I ironed my paper gum. 
So this is like a soft interfacing for fabrics. And then on the actual piece, I ironed my hair still on it. So this kind of gives it structure. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the neckline. So for the neckline, you can see it's a normal, regular round neckline. That's what I'm going to, to cut out. So I'm going to place, place them like this. And then I'm going to cut this out right now. So I want the neckline, I actually want it to be, to be high. So I'll measure the wideness of my neckline. So I'm going to be making it of 3 inches. And then the length of the neckline, I'm going to make use of 3 inches. So it's going to be 3 by 3. That's for the front. And then the back, the back is going to be 1 inch. So this is suitable whether you are adding a color or not. So this is just... So that's for the back neckline. And then this is for the front neckline. So the next thing now, I'm going to go and stitch this. So the same thing I did on this neckline, I'll do it for the fabric, to the lining. So for this, I'm going to open my zip. That's my button. I'm going to open it at the back and then do the same thing to the fabric. I'll show you how to stitch it now. Okay, so I finished trimming all of my armhole, my shoulder. So the next thing, I'm going to show you how to stitch this. So it is a simple, very simple uh, process. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stitch fabric to fabric and then lining to lining. It's a very simple process. So this is going to stitch here like this. I'll stitch this and then I'll stitch this on the side like this. So I'll do the same thing to the lining also since I'm making it an inseam. So I'll go and do that and then I'll come back and show you how to join, couple it together. It's a simple process. Okay, so after stitching both of them, this is what you are going to have. So you stitch them separately. The next thing, we are going to wear both of them together. So this is what I mean by wearing them together. You take the right side of your lining and then you match it to the right side of your fabric piece and then we are going to start stitching so you see when you start stitching make sure that on the the, the joining lines that they match okay and then you're going to stitch around like this and then on the shoulder point also make sure they match and then i'm going to stitch so for the neckline i'm not adding a color so i'm going to drop a link in case you want to add that kind of color to yours i'm going to drop a link I already have something like that, so I don't want to repeat it on my channel. So I will drop the link for you to learn how to cut a very detailed video of that. So I'll just go and stitch everything around like this and then give it a good ironing and then bring it back and then we'll cut out the sleeve. You can see we are almost done. Okay, so after stitching, so you can see I've stitched it around. So the part that is left is the armhole. So I'll turn it out and then give it a good iron. Okay guys, so you can see I have finished stitching, turning. It looks so fine. So you can see the inside looks perfect. So I just pinned down my bottom part. Okay, so the next thing now, we're going to cut out the sleeves. So in cutting out the sleeves, I'm going to show you a very simple and easy way. We're going to do it in two ways. To cut out that, this exaggerated corner sleeve. So the first thing, you're just going to measure round on the shoulder. 
So I have about 10 inches. So I'm going to come like this. I have my paper. So I'll come to this point, the edge of my paper. So my paper is folded. So I have about 11 inches, which is okay because my armhole is 10. So I'll come to those points. I'm just going to come down by 4 inches. So from this 4 inches, I'm going to do this. So just take a look at what I'm doing, okay? And then I'm going to do this. The next thing I'm going to do on this armhole part, I'm going to, if you notice, that part is a little bit slim. So I'm going to mark, I'm going to come to about 9 inches like this. So you just see what I'm doing. 9, which is 18 inches. So I'm just going to do that, take that in, and then once I come to the edge of my my pattern paper, I'm just going to just open this up like this. So you can see this is a very simple and easy way. So just blend this part in like this of doing of making this honestly. So I'll cut this out now. So here is what I have. But because I want my own sleeve to both most times this one that you are doing with free hand, it has limits. You understand? So the sleeve is not really going to be very big. But so what I'm going to do now, so if you see what I have here, I have it by 11 inches, but I want it to be bigger. You understand? I want it to be bigger than 11 inches. I want it to be as big as 24 to 25 inches. That's the wideness. So what I'm going to do, I'm going, what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do this. This I'm going to turn, I'm going to use slash and spread. So I already have this pattern now. So the easy thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to use slash and spread to cut this. So I'm just going to mark the center part of this. But normally, if you want, if you don't want it to be too big, you can just use this. It's still going to be perfect, okay? So I'll come like this. So I'll mark the center of my pattern and then I'm going to mark it up so it depends on how so I'll mark it up to this bicep area so I'm just going to rule this and then I'll cut this open and then check okay so once I cut it open So this part, I'm just going to secure that part down a little bit and then this part also, I'm going to open this up like this. So with this, if I spread it like this, my sleeve is going to be very open so you can see what I've just done. It's going to be very big, you understand? So it's just two ways that I decided to just use two methods to teach you how to do so you can decide to just leave it straight that's leave it like this just with a little bit of clay or you use the slash and spread so mine i'm going to use the slash and spread one because i want it to open more than what i have here other than that you can still use your normal hand just measure it out and cut it so i'll spread this on my fabric now and then i'll cut it out so i'm going to cut now So I'll cut out the second one now, and then I'll cut out my lining. Okay guys, so you can see I have finished stitching my sleeve, so it looks so beautiful and perfect. So the next thing is for us to fix the sleeve, so you can see, you can see how beautiful it is looking. So just for me to take it back to my machine, and then I'll just fix from the top, I'll just stitch around the armhole, and then I'll do the same thing. For the other sleeve and then for the back i'm just going to add buttons to it i'll add about four buttons just for to it so you can add any button of your choice so i'll do that and then i'll place it on the mannequin for you to see the final look of our top okay guys so at the end of the day you can see how our top looks like with our bell or funnel sleeves and back buttons so it came out really fine so this kind of top you can rock it with a palazzo you can rock it with a jeans you can rock it with a skirt 
so thank you so so much at the end of the day i added small shoulder part to it so you can see how the shoulder area is looking structured so thank you so much uh if you find it helpful please like the video and share it with your friends i'll see you in my next video bye bye